Hello friends, it is Jack here, that vegan dad here for our monthly Woolworths and Coles grocery haul. If this is your first time here, we are a vegan family of four and we do these monthly hauls each and every month showing you guys some insights into what we are currently buying and all these vegan items that you may not have been aware of are actually vegan friendly anyway i love showing you all what we got each and every month so if this is your first time here definitely do subscribe to this channel for these monthly grocery hauls at Woolworths and Coles. So this month, the Coles haul came in at about $70 and then the Woolworths haul came in at about $240. So just over $300 for this bulk haul, which is fantastic. And then we also do a weekly top up hauls, which is predominantly any fresh produce that we may require and any other top up items that we are running low on. Those hauls are generally only about maybe $70, $80 at the moment. So it is fantastic so i love doing these bulk hauls so let's get into it this month and show you all what we got so let's go well here we go friends this is our monthly haul at woolworths and some coals down the end so we're going to start off with woolworths down here so this came in at about 250 dollars i'm pretty sure just under 250 starting off with the value pack one kilo of the mixed berries we're loving our smoothies at the moment normally get our mixed berries from Costco, but Costco haven't had them available at the moment. So we're just getting them from Woolies, Woolies at the moment. Not too bad value, but Costco definitely much better value. Down here, just some salted pretzels. Just really using these um, for lunch boxes at the moment for our son who is now at primary school. Still got actually a packet in the pantry. So I have another packet just handy in case. Then these fries, family soy schnitzels are fantastic. So just a couple packets of them. Really convenient to have in the freezer. Still actually have some in the freezer already, but these are actually being used in lunch boxes again. And then also press for time, very convenient. Talking about press for time, these four and 20 meat free pies are a favorite of ours. Maybe get one of these a month, one every two months. Just really fantastic to have in the freezer when, you know, tight for time. And they're actually not too bad either. Probably not the greatest, best pie, vegan, friendly pie out on the market in my opinion, but still everyone else in the family really loves them and it's just really convenient. $10, a little bit more expensive than what they used to be when they first came out, but you get four pies in there and it's just really fantastic. Fantastic over here as well, the dairy-free up and go. We love these up and goes. This is definitely the best dairy-free, like convenient milk that is available at the moment, good flavor. And you could really not even tell that these are dairy-free, they are fantastic. So I recently did an accidentally vegan haul, letting you guys know about these Sultana brand, limited edition Sultana brand hot cross bun flavor. I hadn't actually tried them, but in the comments on that video, people were saying they love it. So I actually just have to try it out myself. So I got a packet of these. Um, these are only limited edition, probably only up until about May. So some people have been saying it tastes like cardboard. Other people are saying they love it. So I want to try them out for myself and see what all the fuss is about. Down here, saladas, just really great to have some saladas. Kids love the saladas. Good lunchbox item to have as well. A bit of Vegemite and saladas is fantastic. Down here, the barbecue shapes are vegan friendly. Just a convenient snack here. Over here, just some dried apricots. So down here, we just got the Zuba Dupas, 24 pack of Zuba Dupas. We're out of summer now, so the weather's probably gonna get a little bit cooler. So probably this is probably gonna be the, like the last packet of Zuba Dupas that we're gonna have, um, probably until the weather starts to get warm again in Melbourne. Down here, just some pineapple slices, pineapple on pizza, pineapple in pasta. Yes, please. Tomato paste, just a couple tins of the tomato paste. Really fantastic to just have in the pantry. Make your sauce bases very, very good there. So these greenback plant protein bars are fantastic. Come in a variety of flavors. These are really high in protein, really fantastic as well. And they go on half price all the time. So we just got a bunch of them there. Got the Nukula yogurt. The Nukula Island style yogurt is definitely my favorite, but they don't have that available at the moment. So just got the regular Nukula, still creamy, still delicious, fantastic price as well. Kids love their olives. So a couple jars of olives. Over here, we've got about 10 liters of soy milk here. So we've got like the Vita soy 
Kelsey Plus, and then also the original Woolworth soy milk, really great price. Vita Soy, Kelsey Plus, really high in calcium. Someone actually said last haul that the, I think it was like the So Good um, soy milk has just as much calcium in their soy milk as the Vita Soy Kelsey Plus. So that is actually really fantastic because I'm pretty sure the soy, the so good soy milk is only like less than $2, which is fantastic. These are a little bit more expensive. I personally like the Vita Soy taste. Over here, just uh, the Helga's bread. We normally get the Abbott's Village Bakery bread. Unfortunately, it's not available for whatever reason at Woolies at the moment. So just got Helga's, just as good. Vegan friendly, two loaves there. And then we got a bunch of these soy caps. They actually went up in price to like $6.50 at the start of the year. Obviously some complaints um, from consumers and now their regular price is like $5 a packet. So a little bit better. And then often go on special for about $3. So that is fantastic there. Much cheaper than getting a cafe coffee. And I really do enjoy these soy cappuccinos. Over here, a couple tins of black beans, a couple tins of chickpeas, and then a couple tins of coconut just to make some lovely creamy sauces. Down here, cashews. Make a delicious cashew cheese sauce. Uh, cashews are really versatile. I really love using cashews lately. Been fantastic, very expensive. Like this pack is like 10 bucks. So very expensive, but you know, very versatile as well. Over here, three packets of the macro firm tofu. This is definitely probably my favorite tofu at the moment. Fantastic in a variety of dishes. I love using the tofu and you know my son is taking some like crispy tofu to school as well. He loves the tofu in his lunchbox. Over here might make some nachos. So just got the CC's original which is vegan friendly. Over here just got some of these apricot delight little snacks as well. Just a convenient snack. Nothing special. Over here as well. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get on to the temp pay train again i love my tofu but i have still struggled to enjoy tempeh so if you have any fantastic tempeh foolproof tempeh recipes please let me know in the comments i'm going to try to come up and we have an idea to use this uh, i feel like i really need to jump on the tempeh bandwagon it is so good for you so definitely need to try again i i failed and I've been put off, but I'm gonna try again. But anyway, so that is Woolies, that was it. So just, I believe it was like 220, $230, but it was fantastic, good variety there. So let's move on to coal. So this coal hole a little bit lower, got some bananas, got some avocados, got some zucchinis as well. So what we're actually doing, you might believe this is quite sparse on our fruit and veg, but, Recently started getting uh, my produce delivered from Garden of Vegan. I do have a code VEGANDAD25 that you can check out. It's really convenient. Produce boxes delivered straight to your door is fantastic and organic. It's very, very convenient having that delivered straight to your door. They actually do really like, um, they do convenient meals as well. So if you want to check it out, check out Garden of Vegan and you know, you can get $25 off using VEGANDAD25. But just got some top up items of avocados because I love my avocados and zucchinis and some bananas. So just got them as well. But Coles came in at about $70. And so what we're actually gonna do, we're actually going away camping um, this weekend. So what we're gonna get, we've got some marshmallows, we've got some other bits and pieces, but what we're actually gonna do, our kids love making their own s'mores when we go camping. So we've got some dandies, um, marshmallows, which are vegan friendly. Then we're gonna have these choc cream biscuits, which are vegan friendly as well. Smash them together and make our own s'mores. The kids love s'mores, vegan friendly. These are actually really delicious as well. The Nature's Kitchen, if you've been following for a while, I love the Nature's Kitchen cheeses. They're having supply issues at the moment, so none of those on the shelf at all. But sheesh, luckily, very affordable. Very tasty as well, a fantastic alternative in my opinion. So just got a couple packets of the cheese slices and then also the grated cheese as well. Three packets of the Veggie Delights barbecue sausages, so good. These are honestly our favorite sausages at the moment. Got a couple of the vegan croissants at Coles. If you have not tried these, you are seriously missing out. These croissants are fantastic. Get some plant-based bacon, 
butter it in there, sandwich it in, and you have a delicious croissant. Fantastic. So a couple packs of them, chuck them in the freezer. They last longer, it is also fantastic. A couple of the bird's eye plant-based mints, definitely the best plant-based mints, in my opinion, going around at the moment. Very fantastic, great value as well, great texture. It, it, it is honestly our favorite at the moment, so definitely check that out. And then also another convenient snack is just some of these Arnott's TV snacks. It's been quite a few months, actually. I forgot about these being vegan friendly, but we've got these. These will last another couple months anyway, so fantastic there. So very straightforward, easy haul at Coles, about $60, and then about $230, I reckon, from Woolies. So just about $300 grocery haul here. Fantastic, which will hopefully last us for the majority of the month. So there we go, friends. That was our monthly haul at Woolworths and Coles. A couple great items in there, and I'm really keen to try out that new Sultana brand. Hot cross bun flavor. There's differing opinions on that limited edition cereal. Some people love it, and some people say it's not that great. So anyway, I'm keen to try it myself and let you know what my opinion is on that new limited release Sultana brand. Anyway, I really hope you found this insightful, really useful of finding some vegan friendly items at Woolworths and Coles. Always love showing you all what we are currently buying at the shops. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, chuck a like, share it around, and comment below of what your favorite item is at Woolworths at the moment. Really love hearing from you all, so let me know in the comments below. Anyway, as always, Definitely do subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with more vegan friendly content in Australia and much, much more. So until next time, friends, I will catch you very soon.